Hey guys, dry brushing not only helps get rid of dead skin on your surface, giving you a glowing complexion, but it also helps with circulation. So if there's areas that you've got a bit of cellulite in, you can dry brush to stimulate some movements and help with cellulite. Then there's more to dry brushing than that. It actually helps lymphatic drainage and helps you get rid of waste in your body. Um, how it does this is through your lymphatic system. So your lymphatic system is an intricate web of vessels and tissues and nodes that help remove and move waste around in your body, taking it to the areas like your liver and kidneys where you can get rid of it, excreting it out of your body. The problem with your lymphatic system is that it doesn't have a big giant pump like your blood system does with the heart. It doesn't have a way to just easily circulate everything around. It kind of needs your help. And this is where dry brushing comes in. If you stimulate and move this waste around your body and just move it along to areas where it needs to go, you can detox and get rid of this waste sooner. And another thing to keep in mind is stay hydrated. If you are stimulating your detox pathway, you're going to need to support it by also hydrating so that you can further remove everything. So this is what a dry brush looks like. It's simple plant-based bristles. Mine has these little plastic nodes, but you don't have to get one like that. It has a handle that you can hold on to. Um, they're really not expensive. I probably paid about $10 for this. And just make sure when you use it, it's, you're using it dry and that your body is also dry. It's best to do it before you get in the shower so you can scrape off and remove all the dead skin and then you can go and shower and be clean. Um, and just keep in mind that when you put the pressure on your skin, don't push too hard. It's not so much about, you know, using a lot of pressure. It's more the stroking action. And the way you do it is you try and stroke in small stroking movements like that. And it's always got to be going towards your heart. So if you're doing your arm, you've got to go like this in stroking movement. If you look at a diagram of where all your lymph nodes are in your body, you have hundreds of them. Um, you might experience it if you're sick that your lymph nodes here in your throat um, enlarge. You have lymph nodes under your arm. The point is when you dry brushing, do these stroking movements and try and think of where lymph nodes are because those are the areas that you want to brush over and stimulate. Um, for girls, I would be careful. Don't I, I don't actually brush my chest. It's a really delicate, sensitive area and I think the bristles might just be a bit too firm. So I tend to just leave this area out. You can brush on your neck here, moving down towards your heart. You then can move to your stomach area and brush upwards towards your heart. Try and get to your back, moving upwards. When you move to the lower half of your body, um, start at the bottom, so start at your toes and stroke all the way up your legs, right up until you reach your heart. So starting at your toes, stroking movements, and you'll want to do the top of your thighs. And another thing to keep in mind about dry brushing is that it's not just mechanical. It's not like brushing your teeth, oh, I have to do this thing every day. Uh, it's also a bit of self-care. It's allowing yourself, giving yourself five minutes a day to say, you know, I really do care about myself and I'm going to do this for me. And you're allowing yourself to pamper yourself for five minutes. Um, and it's really important that you look at it that way, that you don't see this as just a routine thing that you're now adding to your already huge morning routine. Um, it should be more like a conscious awareness and you should enjoy the moment 
and do it for yourself and be aware and be present while you're doing it and take care of yourself and enjoy that moment.